Hi, I'm Nanette and welcome to Nanette Chocolates. In today's demonstration, I should be showing you how to make hot chocolate Christmas baubles. To start off with, to create these, I want to show you how I would decorate the baubles as well. We have coloured cocoa butters, which are the um, coloured versions using uh, food colouring of the plain cocoa butter. So cocoa butter looks like this when it's in its solid form. And this is effectively a vegetable fat that comes from cocoa solid, um, which this is. And when you get these bottles of cocoa butter, they will be solid as well. So what you'll need to do is temper the cocoa butter inside the bottle. And you do that in short bursts in the microwave, but ultimately just get it in your hands and as you can feel it against your body temperature, if it's about the same temperature as you or slightly warmer, that's about right. So this is the red and I'm just going to tip a little bit of white on as well. So it's a little bit like going back to your school days where you are mixing paints to see what effect you get. So um, I'm hoping this won't go pink, it'll just be a paler red. So I'm going to use that on my chocolate mould, which in this case is the same as before. It is a A4 um, sized polycarbonate mould, quite rigid with, in this, case spherical indentations. You can make whatever shape you like, and I'm just gonna do a, a, a swirl on this case, on this occasion, um, with a paintbrush. And you can do this with a paintbrush, you can do it with your thumb or your fingers, you can do whatever design takes your fancy. So I'm just going to use white cocoa butter in this effect. And to create a speckled effect, I'm gonna use a toothbrush. And to help me, with, because I'm wanting a really fluid cocoa butter, I'm just going to warm up my toothbrush a bit with a hairdryer or my cotton gun. So dip the bristles into the cocoa butter and just using your finger, fleck the cocoa butter into the moulds. And by doing this, you're creating a, a speckled effect, if you like. This is also very good for creating Easter eggs as well, when you have a speckled egg effect, so it's no manner of different opportunities of using this effect. The next step for me is just to clean off the surface of that tray, um, simply because I'm looking for a nice smooth surface to help me when I come to the stage of putting chocolate into the trays. So the final layer to go in here is the shimmery layer, because it is a shimmery layer, get that right. Um, so just put a little bit in the lid, just wipe around inside there, just to create a nice bronze effect. So what you'll find is the design that's on the bottom, either the red swirl and the speckles, will come out on the top of the chocolate with the shimmer behind it. So it's a bit of a layered effect that we'll end up with on the surface of the Christmas bauble. So that's the last one done there. So that is now ready. What I'm going to do then is take my mould across to my uh, bangery, which has a lovely reservoir of dark chocolate sitting in it, ready for me to use. So the bangery doesn't actually temper the chocolate, but it melts it. So what I would then do is to take the reservoir away from the bangery and temper the chocolate and then put it back into the machine just to keep um, warm, i.e. at the tempered temperature, um, but it's something you have to monitor all the time, so it doesn't actually keep it in temper as such, you just have to keep an eye on it. Anyway, so I am filling each cavity now with chocolate, like this. Uh, so it takes quite a bit of chocolate to do that because your cavities are quite large. And then what I will do is just spread it around so it's in all the holes and then using the scraper with a bit of downward pressure just pull the chocolate down to the end of the mould and then using the scraper just remove any excess chocolate from the edges so as to minimise the risk of getting in too much of a pickle during the process that follows next. So, just like the chocolate truffles, the process will involve your having to knock the air bubbles out. So you can see air bubbles coming to the top here, so that's what we're trying to get rid of. Stage 
then is to tip the tray back upside down and using the plastic of the handle against the plastic of the mould so as not to damage your mould with the metal blade. Tap away and whilst it's still upside down, use a scraper again just to get rid of the excess chocolate from around the mould. Just clean off the surface and as much as you can from the outside just so your fridge doesn't get too messy as well and then clap it upside down like that on the table and by doing that the chocolate in the mould will spread around the outside of the mould and create a nice little footprint at the bottom which will be useful for the stage that comes next which is when we finish the truffles. So this one has been upside down for a few minutes now and the chocolate has set and you can see the footprints I was talking about before. So the next step is just to take the chocolate scraper and just the second half down and then turn it around and do that again like that. I tend to do the second half down because if I were to take the blade and do that, you run the risk of taking this edge away with you with the chocolate blade, uh, with the chocolate scraper. So that is now ready to go into the fridge and for about 10 minutes and then uh, after the chocolate has set, is ready for you to complete your baubles. So it's a matter then of completing the Christmas baubles. I shall use these from my display here um, to help demonstrate what happens. So over here I have a warm surface which is a piece of, of marble that's been in the oven so I'm just going to place that half on there like that and whilst that is I will put some marshmallows into this half here and then I will grab this from my hot plate and just seal that top half down over the other and when that dries you'll have a solid shape just like those there so I'll just do that again just so you can see just to make sure that you follow me so pick up the other half put some marshmallows in there like that there we go and then grab this from my hot surface and place the top over the bottom and there we have a completed chocolate bauble. What I have done here is I have packaged it with some extra chocolate buttons and marshmallows. So I have placed the extra chocolate baubles that come in the package onto the bottom of the mug there and heat your mug before you put anything in there because that will help it melt too. And then just place the bauble inside the cup too and grabbing my milk which I've heated to about 80 degrees just pour that over the chocolate bauble, which will hopefully melt like that. And then just give it a little stir, and there you can see the marshmallows have popped up to the top. And there we go. Cheers. Thank you very much for watching this demonstration. I'm really interested to know what you think and how you're getting along and therefore please drop into my website where you'll find a contact page nanettechocolates.co.uk and if you have any questions let me know. Um, also don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notification bell and that way you'll get to know about all the future demonstrations when they arrive.